Okay, we're going to start off learning DOS commands by going to the command prompt. We're going to do this by going to all programs, go to accessories, and command prompt. Okay, so this is how you get to the command prompt. And if you want to exit the shell for this command prompt, you can just type in exit, and exit will take you out of the command prompt. Okay, now sometimes you'd like to start a second shell, and uh, to start a second shell, you can just type in using the start command. Start command by itself will start a second shell, and you can see this, this is the second shell. So I'm going to exit out of the shell, the second shell, by typing an exit. Now, if you want to start a, a GUI view of your current directory, I'm going to say start, and I'm going to specify the location, in this case dot. A dot means the current directory. And if I click on it, so you can now see that you're actually getting a GUI graphical user interface of your current directory. Okay? So I'm going to close this window. So I'm going to use Notepad now to edit a file, and I can do this by typing in the command Notepad and the name of the file. I'll just do an initial file called first.txt and press enter. And it's going to ask me, do I want to create? And say yes. And if you kind of look very carefully, you're getting minimize this a little bit so it's in the full screen. So we could write something. This is a test line into a file first.txt and so on. Da, 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 da. I'm going to save it. File. Save. File. Exit. Now, to actually see if what you've created, we're going to use the directory command, dir, to list out all the files. And if you look carefully, there is first.txt. If you ever need to go back to it, we can just say no and first.txt and edit it on the command prompt. Okay, so let's exit this. Now sometimes you need to copy files and I'm going to do this by notice first.txt. I'm going to copy this file with a copy command to let's call it another.txt. So this first file, first.txt, is going to be copied to a file called another.txt. Now if I type in the dir command, we should see the list of, well, somewhere in here, we should see another, and here we go, another.txt and first.txt. If you want to delete a file, right, let's say I would like to delete the file called one.txt. I can do this by typing in del, d-e-l, for delete, one.txt, and now type dir directory listing, and you notice that 1.txt has disappeared. We can also del 2.txt, and notice our files are getting smaller. Okay. Now, sometimes you would like to rename a file, and in this case, first.txt, I would like to change it to that first.txt. So I'm going to use the rename command rename first.txt to the first.txt. Now type in dir and you notice the file name has changed. Okay, so we'd like to switch between directories and we can do this by using the cd command. Now, the cd command is not the same as in a Unix command. cd by itself, right, will print out the current working directory. Now, you probably noticed that the command prompt already has the directory, but uh, so if you do, you probably are not going to use the cd by itself. But cd is actually is an abbreviation for change directory, and we can actually go, for example, to the parent folder, the parent directory with cd dot dot. Dot dot means the parent directory. So in this case, I'm going to type in cd dot dot, 
and go to the parent directory. Now type in DIR. You'll notice these are files in my parent directory. If I need to go back to the Morali folder, Morali directory, I can just type in Morali, and uh, there we go. We're now in DIR, and you can actually see that we're back exactly where we are. Now, if I need to go to the root of this directory, I can do this by typing in CD, sorry, the root of this drive, I can hit CD slash, and slash is the root. So now I'm at the root directory in the drive C. If I type in DIR, you can see all of the files in my root directory. Now, if I want to switch back to documents and setting, notice in Windows, documents and settings is pretty long, and I can put double quotes to handle spaces. But if you don't feel like typing it in, you can just type in the first couple letters and hit the tab key. The tab key will autofill the rest. Now I can switch into CD document settings, type DIR. I'm now going to CD to M, I hit the tab key. Mail, no, I'm going to hit the tab key one more time to get to Morali. And now I'm exactly where I was at the beginning of this demonstration. Now I'm going to show you how to make a directory by using the make directory command, MKDIR. So I'm going to create a directory called 1. Enter. If I type DIR, you'll notice that there is a directory called 1 right here. Now I'm going to cd to 1, and notice this is a directory. I can copy a file. In this case, I'm going to use the copy command. It'll copy the file, and that first, I use the tab key to autofill, and I'm going to copy it into the current directory. Notice the double dot means the parent directory, so the first dot txt is actually in the parent directory. I'm going to copy it into the current directory. And this is the first.txt. Now I'm going to change back to the current, the parent directory. And if I want to delete the file, I can say delete one the and hitting the tab autofill, the tab key. And now I've deleted the file. If you want to remove a directory, you can just use remove directory one and type dir. And notice we no longer have the one subdirectory. Okay, we can also switch drives in Windows by using the name of the drive letter. So for example, I do have a D drive and I can switch to it by typing in D colon. And I'll type DIR. And notice this is the D drive. If I want to switch back to the C drive, I can hit C colon and type DIR. I now have switching between C drive. Oops. I don't have a Z drive, but I do have a directory D drive. Okay, if I had an E drive, which I do, which is my CD-ROM, but as nothing is in my CD-ROM, I won't uh, waste time switching. Okay, 